Hey everyone, it's Area of Effect, and I'm going to rant for a second. I don't vent very often, nor do I complain. I am an open-minded, out-of-the-box type of player, and I just love all things PvP. But there has been an overabundance of uh, something I've noticed here the last couple weeks. It seems like all of my death recaps, every single one, if I'm going to die... I'm dying from the combination of rending slashes with the master's dual wield uh, stinging slashes set and way of fire. Look at these 18 procs from the Gesner. Now, the Gesner, he's a good guy. I'm not bashing him. He's a guildmate, <clears throat> good player. But these sets is what I'm talking about. Uh, look at this guy, rending slashes, 10 way of fire. So there's a reason why I'm making this video. These aren't actually a new combo, but I'm seeing more and more of them anymore in PvP. And... Again, there's a reason why I'm bringing this up in timing with what's coming our way in the next patch. What they're calling the new status effect meta, um, where all the status effects are getting buffs pretty much. Um, except for fire, but burning, but it's still pretty powerful. But check this out. So the Master's Mace and Master's Sword, part of the Stinging Slashes set, a dual wield combo that comes out of Dragon Star Arena. This is the set I'm talking about that you need. Twin Slashes deals almost 1,600 more damage for each hit uh, of the part of the initial hit and bleed. And it's going to bleed for a long time. And then combo this with Way of the Fire, a heavy five-piece set. When you deal damage with a weapon, you deal an additional, if I was buffed up, it, it would be over 2,000. 2,000 flame damage every two seconds. That might not seem like much, but hit him with Rending Slashes, and you'll see he'll, he'll burn in the background as I read this. Blood Craze is the Twin Slashes morph I'm picking here. Uh, 3,100 bleed damage with each weapon, and then they bleed for 26,000 bleed damage over 20 seconds. You also heal for this, but look at him in the back. The ogre is continually taking the damage ticks, and he's going to take way of the fire set as well. Um, just passively, I can even switch away from the uh, dual wield set. There, I hit him with rending slashes. Okay, now watch. He's taking that damage. And he's going to light up and burn. And actually, he got the burning status effect there. All of this from one cast. And I'm going to heal from that damage. So the skill itself is going to deal damage and heal. But then the twin slashes dual wield combo that comes out of Dragon Star Arena is going to bring that damage up immensely. And then also, it's going to proc on autopilot way of fire for basically 10 ticks because it lasts 20 seconds. It'll be actually... Um, 11 ticks because you count zero and look he's going to also take a burning dot if the way of fire uh fire damage results in it burning so it's just nuts now i hit him with a heavy attack there's mars lock okay that's the heavy that's the monster set people are using with this that basically is going to deal way more damage the more dots they have on them um, and again, this is right now. Wait till you see next patch with all the status effects. Guys, there's going to be so many dot builds, builds that you are not going to survive unless you can basically cleanse and purify like constantly. I mean constantly because it's so easy to reapply it on you. But real quick, look at Mars Lock. Heavy attack, 6,200 disease damage over four seconds. Doesn't sound like much, but for each status effect they have on them, the damage increases by 10% and can go up to 300%. And it's not going to be hard to get way up there because it's not just status effects that you apply on the enemy. It's status effects they have from everybody and anything. And with the new status effect meta we're going to be in next patch, expect to see that monster set constantly. But listen, guys, you guys have to purify. Look, you can have any back bar with... Uh, rending slashes way of fire and then on the front bar you could have any other dots this is a bleed damage dot i'm telling you i was messing around with this set right here uh, and i'm just showing it off but um yeah i mean next patch you're gonna have to find a way to cleanse purge and purify and if you can't and if you don't you will die especially if more than one person has this running around and you're gonna have way more than this going on it's not just hey guys this is a, a video about hating rending slashes and way of fire i mean i don't really like it but it's about what's coming next it's going to get worse because you're going to take this and then you're going to add all the status effects the increased status effects people are going to be using sets like serpent's disdain and probably Draugrkin and things like that and mars lock and you're going to have so many dots that you're going to have to basically change your build 
uh, your skills, your setup, just to mitigate that. Now listen, I'm on a Sork, a new Sork that I've been testing out. It's been very effective. I don't have it nailed down yet, but I've got Gesner after me on his Warden who runs this setup, the Rending Slashes Way of Fire, and I've got a, a guy with him, and I'm two on one. And I've run it, look at, right bumper is a Purify skill. And I'm trying to run this because Sorks don't have one, because um, I need to. Look at all the dots on me. T changing line of sight. I'm looking for a moment. Like I slowed it down. Dawnbreaker, Fossilize. Well, look at all the dots, the red numbers and everything. Just all the damage I'm taking. I try to purify over and over again. And I just don't... It only knocks off three of them. I'm shield walled right there. Look at all those damage ticks. And they're adding up. And it's just... You can't... Especially with a Sork or a class that's not a Templar or I feel like a, um, a Necro who has a very big cleanse and purge, you, you're you gonna have a hard time staying alive and cleansing. Now listen, I don't typically hate on sets and setups, but it is kind of a, and I say this carefully, a skillless setup. Now I'm running Purify on this one. This guy's running the same setup. It's dots, it's, it's rending slashes, it's way of fire. And I'm taking third-party damage as well. But I can't purify fast enough. I tried again right there. Breaking line of sight. It only knocks off three. When I purified there, look at 10 way of fires. And I kept purifying. It only knocks off three. So, I mean, they could just reapply it so simply. So, it's going to constantly be on you. Um, and I have some idea of what we're going to have to do to survive the plethora of people that are going to be running that. I mean, just think about it. That exists right now. Wait till later when all the status effects on top of um, that combo are out there and everybody's running it. Now, they are going to kind of nerf Rending Slashes, uh, the Twin Slashes, a dual set that comes out of um, the, Mas the Dragon Star Arena, the Master's dual wield combo, but not very much. Pretty much, it's going to be now like 20% of the value. Instead of being flat damage like it was listed when I showed it, um, it's going to be 20%, 21% of the value that um, your highest weapon or spell damage will be. So if you have, for example, 5,000 weapon damage as your highest value, then 20% of that's gonna be, you know, 1,000. So it'll now do 1,000 damage to the initial attack and bleed. So it's still, a lot of guys are gonna be running five, six, 7,000 damage, any weapon spell damage anyway. So they're still gonna get that value. It's not gonna cut it very much. Um, and remember, it heals. It heals you off the damage. So, I don't know. What I might be getting at is that maybe there's no place for me in out-of-the-box builds next patch because I'm going to have to focus on purifications if I'm going to play any other class other than Templar and Necro. And the reason why I say Templar and Necro, I'll show you here in just a bit anyway. They have very powerful, high-number class purifications. Um enjoy this nice duel while i'm speaking but anyhow yeah uh i'm still gonna try to do what i can but this there <laughs> by the way look at this um i get killed by this uh dragon leap by seeker and look at wild thomas come in and teabag both cat cat and myself wild thomas who i've killed many times one-on-one -on -one, sork to sork um on this sork actually and uh, he's going to come over and bag me. And he runs that rending slashes. If you go back to the beginning, he runs that rending slashes way of fire set. Then he's going to bag. Um, this clip was a mistake to put in here, but I'm going to keep it because look at this. So I got told by a group member, I'm trash. I didn't know who he was talking to. I'm too busy fighting and trying to save and play with that, the one who's getting pounded. Um, but the guy that's talking is across the valley. You'll see his orange words behind me um, as he messages a second message. That I only know how to execute right there. See him talking, execute and steal his uh, kills. Um, I tried to save him. <laughs> I, I tried to save him and I couldn't. He died. And as you can see, I'm over here fighting over and over again, doing just fine without stealing a kill. But uh, what is with the, the, the shitty attitude, running crappy sets, talk teabagging when you run a freaking thumbless set and then your teammates are going to yell at you when they die and call you trash like what what is this i mean uh anyway it's just been a rough week this is why i made a video um oh and this one so his honor who i've beaten a lot of times before as well decent player but i'm about to kill him in this 2v2 look at his health i've got a proc frag my teammate goes down he's almost dead there's mage's wrath 
Now, Slavish comes over. He's a buddy of mine. I'm not going to blame him for anything. He's just doing what he's supposed to do, uh, helping Green, protecting Green. Look, I stun him. I'm getting ready to try to finish off, finish him off. And pay attention to the... He's on a Nightblade, Slavish is. He's hitting me with his damage abilities um, and actually hitting quite hard, to be honest, adding to uh, his honors damage. And I'm in this two-on-one, and yes, I slowed it down so you could see everything. And I jump over, shield wall, heavy attack for stamina, Daedric Prey, crit surge back up, uh, Vigor with the dodge roll, I block and purify, just not quite enough like I talked about earlier. And anyway, watch this red spectral arrow, look how it dropped me, 5,000, so now I'm in trouble, and then I'm fossilized with the whip, and then I'm done. And then watch, watch the, uh, like what the, what the f is so wrong with this guy that he actually feels like victorious he got his ass saved by his buddy even his buddy is bashing him like get the hell out of here he messaged me later slavish did that he wished he wouldn't have helped him uh that let me kill him but you know anyway let's move on to the solutions guys because i yeah we just got to start solving problems but here's what we got templars easily have the best purification in the game you lay down a field cleans five harmful effects immediately five and that's a pretty big area, and it's also going to heal you for over 2,000 health every two seconds while you stand in it. And your allies get the opportunity for a synergy, and they can clean, uh, cleanse all of their effects. You cast this twice, you're cleaning 10 effects for yourself. And believe me, you're probably going to have to cast this twice. Especially next patch where everybody's running rending and dot builds and status effect meta. Now, necromancers, you have access to a skill called Hexproof. Embrace the power of death, remove four negative effects. While slotted, all of your abilities are reduced by 3%, but it costs health. It, that may seem like, whoa, you have to stay away from that, but it's not really. The cost of 1,600 health is way benefit, way more beneficial to remove four status effects, even in the first tick of removing them. So here's what it looks like. I slotted it. I'll let this thing give me a snare. I just casted it and removed it. Watch my feet. You'll have, well, outside of the storm. You'll see a swirly. There it is. Now watch. I casted it and it cleansed it. It will remove up to four. So you can cast that twice and you'll get eight removals, which is pretty good to be able to do so quickly at such little cost. And it's a lot more efficient. And Necros uh, also have access themselves offensively to damage over time buffs. And imagine wielding an Inferno Staff for even more damage over time buffing. Uh, it might just be the point of next patch might be to be on a Necro or a Templar with those purifications. And you yourself run damage over time and status effects builds so you can have the best of both worlds. Now, this skill, Efficient Purge, is available to everybody on any class as it's a support skill line uh, skill. Cleanse yourself of three. There you go. Negative effects. You saw me just do it, the range of it. It removes it for you and for your allies, but it is very costly, okay? And that's the morph that reduces cost. And you could cast it quickly, but it only removes three. And when you have eight or nine or ten status effects on you, dots, snares, things like that, you're only going to remove three. This is what I was trying to use on the Sork um, in those clips when it wasn't quite enough. And Sorks don't have access to a good cleanse. Neither do DK DKs or Nightblades. Even Arcanists don't. Um, Wardens have access to the Betty Netch, which gives you a weapon and spell damage buff and restores Magicka, but removes a negative effect every five seconds. Or you could just cast it and cast it and cast it, but it only removes one at a time. You will get a heal each time your animal expires, as you watch this here on the right side, 20, 2091, 20, 2091, okay? But that's removing an effect, removing an effect, removing an effect. It takes a little time and it's not very efficient. By the way, this is kind of like an airbender build. Check it out. I was just messing around. I know, I'm, I'm a nerd. So back to the Warden's Purification, though. They do have limited access to one. It's not the best. It's one at a time. And like I told you before, they can reapply status effects and dots on you way too easily. Um, so that leaves us with one other option outside of just class skills and support skills. And that comes down to gear. So two major sets that you could use. One comes out of a Dagger Fall. It's an Overland set called Weird Tree's Blessing. Gives you Magicka Recovery weapon and spell damage Magicka Recovery. When you cast a Magicka ability, you remove all negative effects from yourself every 15 seconds. All negative effects. Now that is only every 15 seconds, but 15 seconds isn't bad. 
uh, I would say an enemy's rotation would be quicker than that for a round, but um, if they have a rotation. But uh, another option is, um, you guys all know it, I've never worn it, I've never had a build with it, but it might just come time to wear this set because of what you have to go up against. Mara's Balm, it's not what it used to be, but armor, critical resistance, healing taken. When a negative effect is removed from you, you restore 1,000 health. This can occur every uh, once every second. Um, but when you take damage and have six or more negative effects, restore 1,000 health per negative effect. And you clean, basically cleanse all. Every 30 seconds. So you get a little bit of a heal um, every time you remove a negative effect once per second. And then if you get six, it removes them all and heals you for all of them. But it's only once every 30 seconds, so it's not quite enough. Again, 30 seconds is a long time. Weird Tree's Blessing with the 15 seems to be even better than that. It doesn't give you a heal, but it clears off all of your negative effects every 15 seconds. And so here's kind of where I'm at with this. I'm thinking that if you don't run a Templar or a Necro, then you're going to have to run one of these sets that I've mentioned, or even this one that I forgot to mention, Curse Eater, sounds really nice. Um, and run the Efficient Purge skill from the support skill line. At least one of these sets and the Efficient Purge. Maybe Mars, Mars Bomb with the Purge, so you can uh, get that heal when you purge. But, but again, that 30 seconds seems pretty big. Um, they can reapply these status effects and dots so quickly to you that I think maybe Weird Tree's Blessing is going to be a golden set. Templars, Necros, Efficient Purge, Weird Tree's Blessing. These are where it's going to be at. The good thing is I do have a Sork, a Necro, uh, a Templar, and an Arcanist uh, already kind of in mind. It doesn't mean I don't have a Nightblade or a DK or a Warden. I'm just saying I've already got kind of these things in mind, but um, I might have to incorporate some of this because if I can't, I mean, I can't put a build out there, guys, and say it's good. It's off meta and it's good if it can't survive out there with what the hell's going on out there. It's I, I can't do it. So I'll try to stick to my out of the box uh, and my unique original take on some builds and creativity and find things that work well or break each other. But it, I have to deal with the problem that's going to be out there that I didn't ask for that's kind of unfair, if I dare say it. And guys, I... Again, I've played this game a long time. I've seen a lot of changes. Um, a lot of things get nerfed. A lot of things come and go. Um, a lot of broken builds. But I just see so many of this rending, twin slashes, way of the fire bullshit. And it's now going to be taking place in the status effect meta where everything is dot and status effect base and powerful. I, you know, And you can't cleanse very well with all other classes except for Necro and Templar. So it's kind of limiting what I feel like I can do creatively with my out-of-the-box builds. Um, you know, it's one of them, if you can't beat them, join them. I don't want to do that. I don't want to drink the Maida Kool-Aid, but it's abundant out there and it's tough to go up against. It really is. And so I feel like in a way it's kind of my obligation to tell you guys who have followed my channel based on what it was built on about what's at hand in front of us and how to deal with it. So anyway, check out this next clip of me on a Templar practicing some things, just messing around, um, you know, utilizing the purifications and the healing and getting something restructured here. Pretty fun clip. Um, star of Elyon. You see him on this channel a lot. He's a follower. Appreciate you, Star. And now you're featured in a clip where you're actually looking pretty good, brother. Um, but yeah, this this build isn't done yet. I've been messing around, but I've also incorporated um, just checking out some of the rending in the way of fire. And he's doing a good job against it. Look, Mars Lock, I'm getting sniped. So I leap across, he disappeared. But look at the healing, the sustain, the capability. You can purify so easily. And look how fast, that, that's the purification ring right there. I just cleansed five. And look how many are back on me. So it's going to be worse next patch. I lunge across, check cross, check us out. Nice Donnie. And then uh, finish him off. And then Star, my good friend, take a seat. <laughs> no, it was very good. But yeah, um, last thing, something we've seen a lot before, it's not new, was the dual wield with front bar, uh, Vatistran ice staff. And if you look at the uh, passives for destruction staffs, increase your chance to apply status effects by 100%. 
with the staff equipped. It doesn't have to be a, a status effect from a destruction staff ability just while you have it equipped. So what you might see a lot of next patch, if you don't see it already, is, um, you know, because you already see rending slashes, twin slashes with Way of the Fire and Vatishran front bar, giving you that elemental susceptibility, the status effects, the breach, that dot, and then you got this right here, charged uh, status effect chance to apply 100% buff. You're going to see more of this next patch. It might be something you also yourself want to maybe check into doing is incorporating a front bar with a Destro staff, either the Asylum or the um, Vatishram. The Asylum's got the Force Pulse where every other one you inflict the status effects burned, concussed, and chilled for all three elements, Fire, Flame, and Frost, or Fire, Shock, and Frost. Well, all right, guys, that's going to wrap up this video, this rant. Um, at least you guys got to see some of my humanity, that I am, in fact, just a dude behind this channel. But, uh, yeah, this is what I see uh, on the horizon, and I felt like we needed to make a video about what's coming and where I'm at and where you guys might find yourselves. And now you'll pay a little, you know, a little bit of attention to this, I bet, in your death recaps. Um, and you'll see how often you see rending slashes and way of fire and mars lock but yeah guys uh we can make the best of it just take into consideration what i said and the new patch will bring a lot of new changes and i'm sure there's some good builds on the way so thanks for watching area of effect signing out